Hey y'all, so this morning I'm on my way to work, right? As I'm driving, this sun is beaming in my face. It is making it very difficult for me to see, right? And so I'm over here like squinting and slowing down so that I will make sure that I'm staying in my lane because I kind of start to swerve a little over to the other lane. Luckily, there was no cars coming, but the sun was so bright, it was it was making it very hard for me to see. And so whenever I was driving, the Lord, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and basically was saying how in life, we it's hard for us to stay on that straight and narrow path because we have some things that are blocking us from seeing him there there are some things that are blocking us from staying on that path and so today this morning this evening whenever you're watching this video i want you to know that there are some things in your life that are blocking you from seeing god there are some things that you need to remove there are some things that you know that that's been there blocking you from um just doing what god has called you to do but you don't even want to you don't want to move those things you're so comfortable where you are but you got to move those things because narrow is the way you know you have to stay on that straight and narrow path because if you don't you're going to be you're you're just going to go down a whole different path that god doesn't want you to go down you're going to go through like um the children of israel in the wilderness they had to go they they prolonged this whole journey because they didn't listen they wasn't obedient you got to be obedient to god and you just have to stay on that path because if you don't this sun is going to keep on blinding you it's going to keep on blocking you from seeing what you're supposed to see and do what you're supposed to do so today this morning this evening just stay on the straight path because God has plans for your life. He has plans for your life that only you can fulfill. So you have to stay on the path. You have to stay and do what God has called you to do because those things, those things don't matter. That's blocking you. They don't matter. God is what's important and you have to do what God has called you to do. No, no more procrastination. No more procrastination. No more just saying you're going to wait till tomorrow because like in my other video i said you don't know when you're going to die we all have a time here on earth and you have to make the most of it you have to do what god has called you to do so don't allow those things those distractions that sun to block you anymore today needs to be the day where you say no more no more blockage you're going to stay on that path because you don't want to you don't want to get on that that wide that wide range you know you want to be where god has called you to be you know because on that broad path you know that that leads to destruction that's what the bible says it leads to destruction now you know what destruction is destruction can be yeah i'm not going to go into that because i literally need to go and see my uh, client <laughs> so yeah so destruction look it up you know what destruction is whatever the destruction is that can lead in your life that's what it can be so you don't want to be on destruction you want to be led by the holy spirit you want to be able to um have a blessed life you want to be able to do what god has called you to do and just have joy in that right um and you want to taste and see that god is good god is good and you stay on that path you're gonna see that god is good even though difficulties may come he's good you know and so i believe um in the bible well duh in the bible it says but in psalms i think the verse of the day for today is psalms 34 i think verse 8 i'm not sure where it says taste and see that the lord is good and it says that blesses those who trust in him so trust in god you know you want to be blessed trust in god <laughs> trust in him because you can trust him he ain't gonna lie to you he's gonna lead you on that right path so stay on that path and trust in him and taste him guys taste him he's good think about your life think about all that you've been through all that you're going through god is there with you he's gonna he's never leaving you nor forsaking you so yes that's what i'm gonna do i'm i feel like i am about to start going on another <laughs> a whole nother thing but anyway so my whole point is to say that there are some things in your life that are blocking you um, from seeing God there are some things that are blocking you from staying on that straight and narrow path but don't let those things block you stay focused on God pursue him and do what he's called you to do bye